so the next example I've got is a, is a tripod base. So it's about, so this is one of our, like a real life model as well, um, is about 250, 250 bodies um, overall. So in this example, the main takeaway is to um, get rid of overhangs. Um, I'll go through what overhangs, overhangs are and intersections. All right, let's jump to the tripod model. Right, so that's a tripod model. Um, I can, you know, after meshing, I can hide, a, um, I can hide a few bodies to show how the mesh looks inside as well. Um, so for this model, I'll be focusing on O-rings, as I said before. Um, so what I mean by that is, as you can see, you've got you've got a few intersections. You've got that O-ring right there, and one right there. So I'll just I'll be fixing the side overhang, and because I've worked with this model before, I know that there's a gap in there as well between these two cylindrical, you know, the, between the edge and edge right there. So let's go ahead and and add a connect. Let's turn on match connections. Let's add insert a connect. All right, and let's add all the bodies. All right, um, under connect, and let's have a tolerance of say two or three mm, just really low, something really low for now for, for starting. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and mesh this. It's going to take about five to six seconds. Uh, Nothing too long, hopefully. And let's focus on this front right here. Should be done anytime. Yep. Um, so as you can see, you've got some skewed elements here, right? Again, we can have local controls, um, face sizing, edge sizing, and so on to clean that up. But uh, I'm going to clean up the side O-ring right now. Right, because I've worked with this model, uh, I know that the gap between those two is about 5.5 mm, right? And the gap between these two, um, like edge to edge right here is about, uh, I think six or seven mm. So what I'll do is I'm gonna have a tolerance of eight mm and I'm gonna remesh it, right? Let me clear generated data and remesh. And now what would I like to see is we'd want these two edges properly lining up. Because the tolerance, this is gonna the tolerance is gonna take care of this. It's gonna override it. So we'd we'd want to see a double connection right here, right? And similar to that, this gap is gonna be filled because the tolerance is gonna take care of that as well. So let me turn on connectivity, right? And as expected, there you go. That's that's a double connection. So that's how you get rid of overhang, and this gap is filled right here as well. Right. So as you can see, this is the whole model, right? I can hide a few faces here to show the uh, show how the internals look. If, give it, yep. So there you go. That's how the you know internals look. So again, that's that's a that's a curve right there. Yeah, I can have you know proximity or curvature to to you know better pick it up. But I just want to you know just this model is predominantly to show how to get rid of overhangs. But we'd still recommend to use, uh, you know, we'd still recommend to use a space claim to clean up geometry before bringing it in. And uh, for this, you, you can see how uniform the mesh is without even me having any external uh, additional sizing that you know we can have, you know, other other settings as well to clean it up. 